Hello guys, CPP Dev here. Welcome back to the CPP from scratch series. Since we already created the build system that was based on CMake the last time around, now we are going to create one only based on Make. You won't have to do that intermediate step like uh, using the, the CMake because what CMake is actually doing is generating these make files and then you also have to run the make files in order to in order to get your actual program your executable aside from how you can create and set up your own make files i am also going to cover a bit on how a c or c++ program is actually built but i won't go into many details here because it is not the, the scope of the the video if you want me to create some video dedicated to the stages of compilation of C++ code then uh, please leave it below in the comments if you like the idea don't forget to subscribe and also throw a like to the video and maybe share your opinion in the comments below now in order to understand how we can create our make file we need first to see how we would actually build our code without using any type of uh, of build tool so without using cmake or make or anything related to, to building so actually what we want to do is we want to use a compiler for our programming language in this case since it is C++ we are going to use the G++ compiler if it would have been uh, C code then we will we would use the GCC compiler but in this case we are going to use the G++ compiler in order to compile our code so basically what we want to do is use the G++ compiler for which we are going to give the source files so in this case it is it is only the main.cpp then we are going to set the path for where it should take the include for the main.cpp and also we are going to set the output for our executable and the name of our executable in this case it will be cpp tutorial executable so if we run this we can see that the compiler actually done everything for us and uh, it created the, the executable that we can now run and see we have the the message that we have previously set the same thing can be done actually for the test executable we don't have at the moment any include files so we don't need to give any include, include files here but we need to provide the, the output which in our case it will be cpp tutorial dash test and this was also built and it can be run and as you can see the message that we set up in the main.cpp from the test directory is here so that's that's the way that uh program in c++ is built we need the compiler well actually the g++ or gcc are not only compilers i mean they provide they are doing all the four stages of compilation but uh, yeah it's it's called a compiler if you want to hear more about the, all the stages of compilation, I can create a separate video. But at this moment, we are just going to 
create a make file that will do what we we want to do and basically it will create the executables that we need in this project so let's first remove the ones that we have just created and now if we were to run make in this case we can see that there are no targets specified and also the make binary did not find any any make file as we did in the cmake case with the cmake list the txt in this case for make we are going to have to create a make file and it does not need to to have any kind of extension if we run it again you can see that make did not find any targets in the make file but actually it found the, the make file that it needs the configuration file for the make binary to be able to create something we are going to edit the make file in order to add the rules so make knows how to create our program first of all we want to set a variable that will uh, be the actual compiler to be used uh, in order to compile our program then what we want to do is get the list of the of the source files for our project which will be all the .cpp files in the source directory also we are going to set a variable include the directory to the include directory actually and we are also going to set the target name for the make file which in this case will be cpp tutorial plus the target name for the tests which will be will be CP, cpp tutorial dash test now we are just going to set the rules for the targets to tell make to build our program using g++ so the first one will be the target name and for target name I want to run the G++ with the include directory that I have set up for the source files and the output is going to be cpp tutorial so if you take a look at this it's exactly the command that we ran earlier but uh, make will actually take care of it so we won't have to do it manually also i'll set up the target name tests in which i will run the g++ i don't need at the moment the any any includes and the output will be cpp tutorial dash test and what i forgot to do here 
is to actually get the source files for the for the tests executable so we are going to use all the cpp files from the test directory so if we save this and now we run make cpp tutorial you can see that make is doing the the thing that we were doing manually earlier and we have the cpp tutorial executable also if you are telling make that he needs to that it needs to build the cpp tutorial dash test it will also do the job and create our test executable so you can see that everything works accordingly going to delete this yeah so the standard makefile and pretty basic makefile is already created there are some things that I also want to set up in the makefile so we are going to make some tweaks to this first of all I don't want the, the comment to be shown to the user so I don't want the user to know what I am doing in the background in the make file so I am just going to add this little thing at the start of the command and this <coughs> this should do, do the trick yeah as you can see the command is no more shown to the user and he doesn't know what happens in the background also one more thing that you need to know is that if we are just going to run make in this case as you can see in a moment yeah as you can see here the first target in the make file is actually run because that is set as default in this case so you don't actually have to give the target every single time one more tweak that I want to do to the make file is just <coughs> tell make to actually create a build folder in which this should be generated the executable should be generated so the output is going to be in build slash cpp tutorial and also I am going to create test and is going to be build test cpp tutorial test and one more thing I want to add a clean target in which we are going to remove both builds build and also the build slash test directory let's try this again so if we run make yeah we forgot to add that little thing so the comment is not shown but as you can see there is the build directory created and if we run make cpp tutorial dash test you can see that also there is the the test directory created and here is the executable the second executable is here and if we run make clean 
we can see that everything is erased and we are also going to to hide these comments from the user So I have created a very basic make file that can be used uh, to build our uh, program and the last thing that I want to do in this case is actually commit my changes so I don't uh, lose anything and I'll just say that I am going to add a make file I need to edit then commit it and as the last step I'll just git push the changes to the github repository hopefully I'll get my password the first time of course I messed it up this time yeah at least this time it's good as you can see I have added the make file to to my github repository and that should be it for today's video I didn't go into much detail related to the stages of compilation because I think it was not the scope for the video but uh, if you guys want me to cover it in another video I can do this just let me know in the comments below don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos also tell me your opinion related to the videos in the comments and if you liked the video just press that like button and I wish you all a nice day. See